We're going to do it once more. Uh, uh, and this time, no mistakes. One, two, three, four. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. But now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So say good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. You could be granted that to be in Louisiana in the morning. In the mo. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were still going. More flights. Lower fares. Easy to get to. That's what you can expect at Northwest Florida Regional Airport, along with the lowest parking rates and best service in the region. Why pay more? Stand in lines. Put up with hassles. Fly VPS. Convenience you expect. Low fares you deserve. Good afternoon and welcome to Good Morning 30A. I'm Red Fizzard and I'm here with the fabulous Stinos this <laughs> afternoon. Bob and Lisa, how are you doing today? Good, Good Red. Okay. Good. Bob and Lisa Stino play all around here on 30A and they're going to tell us all about it. Before we get into that, now you're from Wisconsin. Originally. And, and how long have you been in this area? Five years. And before that? Just uh, for fun. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin. It's a, so you came from there? Right. And right. I, I, the weather's a little bit... So, what? Oh, no, we lived in Madison for 12 years, and we um, were able to get rid of our government jobs. We worked for the VA. That was our career. Wow. And uh, we had bought our property before we retired, and it uh, worked out for us. That's awesome. And yeah. how, long have been, how long have you been playing music? All our lives. And together? Uh, the last 20 years. But yeah. That's a long time. It took a little while to get together. My mother was a piano teacher. Oh, awesome. So I played, like, classical piano, and he played... Um, rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> classical rock and roll. Somewhere it gets together. Yeah. Rock me on the It got together oh, in bluegrass, <laughs> <laughs> oddly enough. I know. Explain that to me. <laughs> I don't know. Rock and roll, <laughs> classical, bluegrass is what you play. And right. you play it very well, indeed. So... Um, I was down here 30 years ago and played with Potter Brown. We formed the Old Truck Bluegrass Band. Okay. And I was stationed at Eglin. At awesome. For six years, so yeah. that's where we got our start in bluegrass. And then we went back to Wisconsin, and we got Lisa on the bass. And I was sitting then. home alone. So your mother played <laughs> piano, and you play bass. Now, has that been a recent thing, or have you done that your whole life? Well, the bass story is kind of cool. Um, Tell it. So, let's see, we had come back to Wisconsin after living in Florida to uh, raise the children by the family. And our friends were in going to Saudi Arabia <laughs> to seek their fortune, and they had this base that they had acquired at a pawn shop in Oshkosh. And it's that base. It's that, that base. base. And they uh, gave it to us to watch while they were in Saudi Arabia. And so... Uh, you then took a liking to took it. Took a liking to it. <laughs> and... Uh, Fast forward, we ended up buying the base for uh, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, with, with a car. With a car with a sixty-four Pontiac Le Mans. <laughs> I'm like, $700 for a base they bought at a pawn shop? How did you work that out? I don't know. If it came with a Le Mans, right. I think you got a better deal that, on the base. <laughs> yeah, so we've had that base um, 32 years. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. See, I told you, product of the 80s, I was watching this morning, and I used that word too much. Anyway, so where are you playing now? We play uh, Wednesday evening from 6.30 to 9.30 at Gravel Road and Sunday 11 to 1 for, for Gravel Road Brunch. For Gravel Road Brunch. And do they have any... No, that's not well, worries. And um, you were playing up at Pandora's, although you're going to go into a little hiatus right now with right. them because it's a little quiet over there. Right. It's winter. <laughs> it's right. winter. And, um, and we play at Shorty's, Shorties every other Sunday. Every other Sunday. Oh, so you're busy. Six. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Shorty's is awesome. We it's like it over place. there. Yeah. See? Again, i got to stop doing that. Yeah. So we play the second and fourth Sunday there. Great. That's our our stick that kind of makes us a little different is we we like to include a third musician. A I was going to say it seems like there's kinda, somebody else yeah. around. So yeah, well it's usually Franco. I mean you gotta love Franco. Of, of course. Yeah. And um, 
uh, this weekend, Smiling Fritz is going to play with the Steenos. At Shorty's. At Shorty's. Smiling Fritz. Yeah. yeah. That just sounds fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he is fun. Let's go, Steenos, yeah. let's go see the Steenos and the Smiling Fritz guy. <laughs> okay. What time is that at Shorty's? Six. Three to six, you said? Three to six, oh, right. Six Great. Six nice Sunday. hours for older musicians. Um, you know, I'm not that far behind you, but I have to tell you what. The earlier, it's the better, in my you, opinion. People ask me to play these gigs, gigs at 11 o'clock, I'm like, in the morning? Right. <laughs> We can do that. No. <laughs> One way or the other. No 11s. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thank you guys so much. Now, do you all have a website that you can share with us? Well, we've got... Um, or a phone number or a, Stenos, anything? Stenos.com. And Stenos .com. we're on MySpace and um, some of Bobby's original tunes on there. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Now, do you have, yeah. um, do you have music out, a CD or um, I've got something we can CDs purchase? And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two CDs. One was a, a basement rock and roll project uh, I was a guinea pig for a friend that had a nice system in his basement and then uh, is that around here no this was in Madison oh okay okay so I could use a nice friend with a guinea yeah. pig right he was then, basement uh, set up <laughs> a friend of ours came down from Minnesota and she was a fiddle player and brought her boyfriend and he was a, a recording engineer so he saw my task cam four track you know tape player that Sitting old in the antique closet. in the closet and he yeah. says let's record so we did the Florida cottage tape in the living room. Two oh, years that's ago. great! So we can get, can we get those on your site then? So um, we can find at least. You really access have to, them. to call us. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. If you want to put a phone number out there, go ahead. And if you don't want to, go see the Stinos, and they, you can get a hold of these right. wonderful right. recordings with them. We do always have them on our at our performances. So. That's great. Well, you guys, thank you so much for coming to all talk right, to thank us this you morning. For I know it's us. a little bit early for all of us. Sorry. Yes, sure. absolutely. That's why we made the interview a little shorter. What we're going to play the housewife blues. Right. You're going to play. They're going to play for us the housewife blues. Is this an original that. as well? I wrote that when I was a housewife. All right. That's guys. Stick around for two seconds. I was before we the get working nurse. <laughs> oh dear. That's for that one. Oh dear. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we don't want to know that. <laughs> All right, guys. Years. Coming to you from the Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club. We'll be right back. The Cantina Bar and Grill, located at Pier Park, for a wonderful dining experience. We offer over 100 different items to choose from, guaranteed to make your mouth water. Come join us at the Cantina Sports Bar for a beer or drink. Don't forget, all day Wednesday, buy one margarita, get the other half price. Thursday night, free salsa dancing, lessons with Pablo. Friday night and Saturday night, Latin salsa disco. Come for the fajitas and stay for the margaritas at the Cantina Bar and Grill. Graffiti in the Funky Blue Shack, a restaurant and live blues club located in the village of Baytown Wharf at Sandestin. It's family friendly with an eclectic Italian menu that offers popular classics while you enjoy the hot sounds of cool blues. Graffiti in the Funky Blue Shack. Located in Destin, Henderson Park Inn is Florida's premier beachside bed and breakfast inn. Here you can enjoy the perfect blend of charm and grace wrapped by the secluded shores of the Emerald Coast. Henderson Park Inn is perfect for a romantic getaway. Nestled at the end of a quiet road on the eastern edge of the Henderson State Park, the inn promises a relaxing and refreshing vacation. Featuring Victorian-inspired furnishings, a large veranda, and private terraces overlooking the Gulf of Mexico. And you can enjoy a superior dining experience with Tim Prehan's Beachwalk Cafe or sunset at the Tiki Bar. For reservations, call 866-398-398. Four, four, three, Catch up on the cool happenings on the Emerald Coast with your fortnightly issue of the Beachcomber. We come the beaches for our finest our area has to offer in food, music, and local happenings. Best of all, the Beachcomber is always free, no charge, not a nil, zero, zilch. It's the best bargain on the beach. Find the Beachcomber at fine businesses throughout the area. You can also find us online at www thebeachcomber.org, Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. Thank you. 
Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club is nestled between the Emerald Coast's favorite attractions. Sugar white beaches and thriving woodlands, we have it all. 18 challenging golf holes with newly renovated greens that wind through the pure white sands, pristine ponds, and lush vegetation of the Santa Rosa Beach area. Extending from the Gulf of Mexico inland, Santa Rosa's sheer beauty and golfing enjoyment is a must for the avid and casual golfer. Golf Magazine calls it the purest golf on the panhandle. A good breeze is almost always blowing across the course, making even the hottest summer day a good golf day. And by the way, in the winter months, the gulf warms the air, providing a pleasant golf day, even during those not so warm winter months. We offer a fully equipped pro shop featuring a great selection of clubs, bags, apparel, and golf accessories. Breakfast and lunch are served daily in Mulligan's Grill, along with a full bar that is moderately priced. The Beach Club Restaurant offers an amazing golf view from any table, plus refreshing outdoor seating on our expansive terrace. The dining room regularly hosts live entertainment and events. Our fun and elegant atmosphere provides the perfect setting for a family night out, lunchtime with the ladies, or a romantic dinner for two. We also offer a full service bar so you can enjoy your favorite cocktail while watching the most amazing sunsets around. Whether it's lounging around the pool, fine dining with a golf view, or strolling along the private beach, Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club is the perfect spot for a golf or family getaway. To find out more, call 850-267-1240. That's 850-267-1240. Or go to SantaRosaClub.com. More flights. Lower fares. Easy to get to. That's what you can expect at Northwest Florida Regional Airport, along with the lowest parking rates and best service in the region. Why pay more? Stand in lines. Put up with hassles. Fly VPS. Convenience you expect. Low fares you deserve. Good afternoon and welcome to Good Morning 30A. I'm Red Bizard. I'm Julie Brown. And we're here with Brad O'Brien from... Andrews and, and Orange. That was you know, the main thing I want to talk about today is uh, a lot of folks are concerned where we're at in real estate and, you know, what's Walton County doing? And, you know, like like many places, Walton County is different from other places. Other places. Uh, Walton County has many building codes and restrictions. Uh, we know that. But, uh, you know, Jason, who is with uh, Walton County Planning, did tell me. But they are open for business. They've been very busy. Good. Hey, it seems like I've seen a lot of building going on all of a lot sudden of up folks. and down 38, which is great to see. A uh, couple of huge, yeah. huge buildings, it seems yeah. like. I, they're not too tall because I know there's a very specific That's height, height requirement, right? right? Mm -hmm. But some of them just look enormous. Well, you know, the, the larger developments are coming, and this is something that we're going to have to get used to is mm -hmm. that, yeah. 
You know, we've got a lot going on around here. Uh, just in the years that my wife and I, Frith, have lived here, uh, we've seen 98 go from two lanes to, to four lanes. To divided uh, highway. To and divided highway. To, uh, uh, you know, 331, the expansion there. Uh, my goodness, a grocery store within driving distance. Uh, thank you, Publix, <laughs> for both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, bottom line is that we've got a lot of new things that are going on. Uh, my goodness, now we have Okaloosa Walton College out by, uh, out off of uh, 331 by the courthouse uh, annex. Is there a college there? Yeah, well, it's a... I have uh, no idea. It's a, it's a, yes, it's an extension, it's a campus. Uh, uh, used to be Okaloosa College, now it's right. Okaloosa Walton College. Oh. Uh, they are actually signing up for classes now. It's great. Uh, we've got a new Walmart that's being built on Highway 98 with the Walgreens. Let's see that's what great. Else. And obviously the airport's going to be a huge thing, I would think, Opening for you. Uh, in the end of April. Yeah, uh, that's going to be a huge thing. You know, prime example is uh, last year I met a couple from Germany. Wow. And uh, at McTie's in Blue Mountain Beach there. Which and, there? and hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. And uh, they actually, actually received an email one day. Obviously, we're doing a lot more in email these days. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to get used to that. Almost can't communicate without it, actually. No, it's, uh, it's, it was a hard lesson I had to learn because uh, I like picking up the phone and talking mm. to folks. I, I really. I, I miss that personal. That personal. Well, it's funny because yeah. we, my husband and I always say you can you can interpret an email in so many different ways. You know what <laughs> I mean? Or a text <laughs> message. Right. right. Sorry. Go ahead. When when there's no reflection on a right. word, it's right. uh, that's correct. But um, I've learned to deal with that, and I received an email that said hello from Germany. Wow. Of course, I thought it was uh, for cheap meds yeah. or something. <laughs> I, I, I was going to. You trying rid to of sell it. you little blue pills or yeah. what, Brad? Right. Come uh, on. I, uh, <laughs> I know the wife's watching. Uh, <laughs> So, but, uh, uh, but turns out it was this young couple I'd met at McTie's a year ago. They're from Germany. Turns out she's the personal assistant to one of the largest scientific companies in Germany. And uh, they're flying in the first week that the airport is open. Are they really? Uh, which opens, uh, I think it's April 28th, end of April. You have it written there somewhere. Yeah, I do actually in this long <laughs> well, list of things. And that makes it so much easier, obviously, for people to come in and out as they as they want to look for property or well, make contacts with you rather than, oh, geez, you know, we got a long, oh, long drive and this and that. That's going to make very a huge much so. difference, I would and, think, for you. You know, and, and that's true. The, the, uh, the airport is not only a tremendous thing to the area, but also, you know, the highway expansions. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, who did not drive through a free port uh, during Fourth of July before they put in the bypass? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wife and I uh, were heading to our farm up north, and uh, spent on, we actually spent more time in Freeport than we did on the highway on the to, right. you know, to Montgomery. Getting through. But, uh, getting through. You know, things are getting better. They're getting we used better to choose, every day. We used to choose 79, I think, is we come in that way instead. So. How long have you been in real estate, Brian? Um, I actually took my first real estate course in 1980. I'm dating myself. Uh, when I you were five. Uh, yeah. Seven. Yes, uh, you had to be eight <laughs> okay. uh, to get in the course. That's what I knew it was some, some, uh, some uh, picture there. No, I, I actually graduated high school in 1980 and immediately went into college and uh, took real estate as, as part of one of my electives. And uh, Early on. actually, I ended up uh, in computers for a while with Apple computers uh, and really got back active into real estate uh, after my wife and I moved here. Uh, about 14 years ago um, and I just I really I started looking around I, I now I'm kind of a rare breed I, uh, I come from the hills so uh, the beach is beautiful uh, the hills uh, uh, you know I actually the hills of the, uh, uh, northern Kentucky southern <laughs> Illinois yes it's, uh, and uh, the under the, don't they call them hollers up there uh, well it's well holler and exactly uh, <laughs> You know, I'm here for the weather and the people. Uh, yeah. The beach is beautiful, but... Uh, Do you enjoy the folks and everything else that, that the area has to offer? Very, you know, very much so. Um, you know, I've, I've got to tell you, that's probably been the best part of it. Oh, there's no better place in the world to live, I don't think. I, I, uh, I really don't. The people are fantastic. I've got a saying that, that I, I think that one of the reasons this area uh, is really such a fun place to live is because 99.8% of the people that live here want to live here. Yeah. Not oh, because they have, they have to. to. That is right. You are here for and a that makes a big difference. Right. That makes a big difference. That's right. So now this company that you're with now, Andrews and Arnstorf. And Arnstorf, Realty. yes. And your offices are located. Uh, we actually have multiple offices. Uh, Andrews and Arnstorf is a uh, 
is a com with a compiled multiple companies, local companies, and this is something that we we've, we've seen start to happen and, and probably will continue to happen uh, is that there are some really good local companies here that are you know the folks that live work and worship right here on 30a right here in south walton county um, folks that that want to be a part of this community that that know not only where that dirt came from uh, but how that dirt came to be uh, when I started in real estate, uh, I, I was lucky enough to work for a tremendous company, uh, 38 Realty Incorporated, which is down in Seagrove. Wonderful company, Alice Forrester, Mickey Whitaker. Uh, they, they were in real estate in 84. They opened their own company in 95. That's really where I cut my teeth with true professionals and learned to get in the swing of things on 38. And then I progressed, and now I'm with Andrews and Arnsdorf, which is it promises to be one of the finest full-service agencies uh, available to folks here in South Walton County. That's fantastic. You sound very passionate about being with them too, which is. I, you know, we're talking about uh, two owners, uh, brokers Gus Andrews and Ed Arnsdorf, uh, that ha that are, are steep in, in history in this area. Um, Gus Andrews, great ties here to the Santa Rosa Beach Club. Uh, you know, I. Gus, if I get this wrong, I'm sorry, you can correct me, but I believe that one of his relatives, a great-grandfather or something, actually donated this house, which is now the Santa Rosa Beach Club. Wow. All right. Thank you. Boy, if I get... <laughs> I, I may get cards and letters. I know. I may get cards no, and letters. No, that's not that. what that's, happened. Blah, blah, blah. But the Annette Arnstorf, of course. That's what he uh, thinks. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what he thinks uh, is the history. I just want it to be right. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> no doubt. But uh, Annette Arnstorf, uh, just really uh, one of the finest men I've, I've affiliated myself with, one of the greatest professionals I've, I've dealt with. And that's something I've learned throughout 30A in South Walton County is that all of the realtors, all of the folks that do this full time are just some of the finest people, people. I've, I've ever met. Very honest, will not lead you astray. And That's it sure great. helps to love your job that much and enjoy what you're doing that much. It makes it much easier every day to go into work and to do what you do. It's a lifestyle. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. not a job. No, uh, well, that, and that, that is true. true. That, that is true. true. That is true. You ask the wife. It's, yeah. uh, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> Correct, Fred, right? And it's, uh, yeah, but you got I'm, that one right, right, Fred? Uh, I'm, I'm in at the crack of noon every day, yeah. and, um, and I'm out in the evenings meeting people. And, yeah. uh, um, you know, if I spend eight hours a day in the office, um, I, I, I wouldn't be able to meet people. I wouldn't well, be able to get out. Right. What you do is something that, right. the more you're out and about and the more you're, you know, That's right. at places, you're going to always meet somebody that needs, either know somebody that needs property or right. you know, something. Right. It's always a great contact, a great That's way to right. network, most That's definitely. Right. That's right. Well, you look like you have a little listing you want to throw out there, so throw well, it out there. Well, you know, come uh, on, get it on. You know, I hate to uh, hate to jump in there with that. But, jump in uh, with it. Get, but get you it. know, I, I am proud of the the <laughs> listings that that, <laughs> that I have, that our company has. That um, really, I'm I'm proud of the property available in South Walton County. We have a lot to choose from, from golf front condominiums. Uh, uh, if you don't want to cut the yard, you don't want to have to take care of the pool. We've got golf front condominiums with everything from some in living rooms to never-ending views. Oh, that sounds uh, horrible. It's, oh, it's a horrible <laughs> way to live. Uh, to, to attached single family. That's multifamily. And then there's attached single family, mm -hmm. which is townhomes. Right. Where you actually own the land that that, that town home, home on. sits on. That's a wonderful way. Uh, we have townhomes. We have single family homes like 500 a million lane over in Bay Magnolia. Now, that's in the Bay Area mm -hmm. where the dolphins go to have their mm. babies. Ah. It, it is, now, there's a selling place. Place. Go see dolphins have oh, babies. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing like being out there on your boat or jet ski and just sitting and being quiet. All of a sudden, you see this miniature jet little ski dog. quiet. Oh. Jet ski quiet. Yeah, I, I know it's an oxymoron. Jet, jet ski. But, okay. Uh, yeah, but I, I actually <laughs> I like powered canoes. But uh, you just sit still, and all of a sudden, a little baby dog, oh. little miniature. I never realized that, but that's what. Yeah. That they they, go into the they bay. actually go into the bay because they feel safer there. It's and it's shallower waters. Um, no wonder so many people buy out that direction. Oh, it's great. And everybody gotta, that lives there says it's absolutely beautiful. But, shh, don't tell everybody. No. I got to tell you, man. I'm gonna tell you, it is. Yeah. It must be a secret because well, yeah. you've we, really seen we it. We don't want it to be too much of a secret, but we do. We also want to keep part of what is so beautiful and That's wonderful right. about living here. That's right. You know, we, we don't. Want, and I don't mean to sound elitist. I, I don't, don't mean that in any no, way. I just mean. The quality of life that we have is partly because we do have the, the reserves or the preserves, the reserves, the preserves, that, you know, direction in the state parks and that sort of thing. So right. 
we want that nature. We want to still be able to see the baby dolphins when they well, come. Well, I up. think a lot of people think you live down here, you have to live by the beach. You have to live right here when there no, are so many so other much, options. No, so much beautiful no. water like say, all around the bay and everywhere else. Uh, there's other options. There, there are multiple levels that you yeah. can be a part of. If you want to get here, you can get here. It's just a matter of, of where. Brad, we want to thank you so much for coming out thank today. So We're going to put your uh, phone number and your website up. Thanks, the website Brad. is aafrealty.com. And <laughs> FLC. No worries, we'll get it to you. We'll get it on there for you. Yeah. And um, thanks for coming out and joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you, and, uh, uh, 38 TV. Good morning, 38 TV. <laughs> and uh, y'all have been a wonderful part of the community. And I must say, uh, we're glad to have you. Well, Thank thanks you, for that. We're Thank having you, a good Brad. time. Thank you. God, God, you. So early. Thanks, yes. thanks for joining us today on Good Morning 38. Thank you, Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club, which we are broadcasting from. And we're having a great time as usual. And um, thanks. We'll see you next week. See you next week, guys. Toodaloo.